Hi everybody, welcome back to this Wii U stack episode for the STM32F1 and today we are taking a look at the I2C examples which is the BNO055 EMU we will have a hand on an example on the library we created before so by the end of this tutorial you will be able to use the BNO055 and the OLED screen to display the LI angle of the motion of this testing board so as you can see here by moving this one, let's move it in the rolls area. So if I move in this way, the roll is increasing, the angle is increasing as you can see. And if I move to the other side, it will be decreasing. Same for the pitch. So if I increase this way, you can see the pitch decreasing. And if I move to this way, it will be increasing. So I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and you will learn how to quickly develop with the BNO055 and the OLED screen. The example I'm sharing with you today is inspired from the tutorial of the STM32F1 where we create from scratch the BNO055 library and we display it on the OLED screen. So the code that we are sharing is of course available on GitHub, you can find the link in the description below. The code that we are going to use is C and the program we are going to use for coding is Kale. The hardware that we are going to use for this time is as usual the STM32F1 aka Blue Pill and also the BNO055 which is a board that we bought from the um, AliExpress, the Chinese board. Finally, we are going also to add the OLED screen to um, display the data that we will get from the BNO055. So before we jump to the call, let's have a, a look on the uh, testing example. So we will have the STM32F1 connected directly to the BNO055 and as you can see here we do have the vol the, the V in is connected the 3.3 volt ground to the ground and the SCL to the SCL and SDA quite simple but the last one which is extremely important is about the 3.3 volt as we need to have it high because our selection in the code we are going to use the slave address the hexadecimal 29 and this is a very important step so the code can work on the other side we are connecting using the same i2c the oled ssd 1306 which has the address 78 hexadecimal so there is no change against the previous tutorial Finally, the libraries that we are going to use will be the GP drive, the Cystic time, the I2C drive, the OLED drive. This is all the one that we have seen before. And also we are adding the BNO055 drive, which an address we worked with, which is a library we worked together, and finally the help function. All these libraries details are provided in the description. Okay, so now that we have taken a look on our circuit, we can take a look and jump to the code. So guys, as usual, if you enjoy this kind of video and you'd like to get more, you have just to subscribe. Okay, so let's jump and take a look on our circuit and our code. So let me share it here. So let's make this one smaller so we can first take a look at the circuit. So this is our circuit here. This is our STM32F1 aka Blue Pill. This is our BNO and this is our OLED screen. And all of them are connected to the I2C2 as you can see in this wiring and the same I2C. So the same pin are throwing through the both um, slave devices. Okay, so now that we have reviewed this point, let's take a look quickly into the code that we are going to use quite soon after that. So first of all, if you can see here, we do have, we will need to add here the cystic uh, time, the BNO drive and the OLED drive library. After that, if you would like to use the I2C1, so in our example, we are going to use the I2C2, you just connect to this different pins which is the PB6 and PB7. We will get back to this angle later on and um, first of all here we are going to use the BNO in it and this is the function that initialize the BNO and put it in the fusion mode. This is extremely important one so we can get the LR angles. After that we have to initialize the OLED which is a much complicated function and this is a specific one for the OLED which is have 64 bit um, uh, 60 bit uh, 64 bits um, uh, for the um, uh, vertical 
uh, length. So this is the initialization function. And finally, the OLED blank. This is a function that will make the screen blank and prepare it for the display of new data. Then we can go to our um, display or OLED data um, title logger, which is a function that just display the title of the data that we would like to put. This function is made um, the input for this function is three type of variable. The first one is which I2C are we are going to use. Here the row that we would like to, to put, the, the title, and after that the title itself. So if I remove here or and comment this three line, we can see, so let's save, build, and let's before that show here. So if I load here, you can see the let me try to zoom i know that i can get it let's take here okay and let me bring it a little bit here okay so you can see now we do have the titles but unfortunately there is no data here and we are going to do this one quickly in a moment so this is the part where we are starting to read the data from the bno so this function reads the data from the BNO or the Euler angle and we do have three so this is using this is the I2C peripheral number and here angles which we have taken a look before are short angles of three variable and each one of them will get the angle for the Euler angle okay so finally let's take a look to the last one which is the one that will show the data so why we are putting this one here and this one here because we don't want to waste a lot of time by printing this one again and again so here this function will print only the new data without really wasting any time so as you can see here this is the number of the i2c that we would like to do to use this is the row where we would like to display the data and this is the data and don't forget this is an integer so if you would like to use this function for a different input always think to put an integer here not a string okay so let's save load okay no error no warning and let's load the data now so you can see here that there is a data updated so let's focus on the row which is the easiest to visualize um, on the screen so if I increase here this row will keep increase and increase and if I decrease I move on the other side and move here you can see the row is decreasing so we do have this angle rate and if we do same for the pitch so if I increase the pitch here it will be increasing and if I move to the other side, it will be increasing in the other side. So it will be decreasing the other side, but increasing in this side. Okay, so you could see how easy and quickly we could get the data and display it. It's almost two functions and that's all. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a like, please subscribe and thank you so much.